Deep in the Siberian forest is the record of an explosion that is a thousand times larger than Hiroshima. Imagine waking up one morning to a blinding flash in the sky, followed by an explosion 1,000 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima in the World War. The shockwave flattens trees for miles, the ground trembles, and a massive fireball erupts in the sky. But there's no survivor. 80 million trees are obliterated in an instant, the force so intense that some are stripped of their bark as if skinned alive. The heat? It's unbearable. It sears everything in its path. Witnesses as far as Europe report glowing skies for days, as if the very atmosphere had been set ablaze. No trace of a meteorite. No explanation. And then... Silence. You might be relating this to a movie or a nightmare. This isn't the plot of a sci-fi movie. This actually happened. In a remote part of Siberia in 1908, the Tunguska explosion remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of modern history. Let's take a closer look at this unexplainable event that shook the world. So what really happened? Was it a meteor? A secret government experiment? A UFO crash? Or something even more terrifying? Let's dive deep into the mystery of the Tunguska event. Section 1. The Mysterious Explosion on June 30th, 1908, Central Siberia, Russia. It started like any other day in the vast, frozen wilderness. Life in the region was peaceful, untouched by modern civilization. Then, at exactly 7.17 a.m., the sky lit up with a blinding flash, followed by a deafening explosion that could be heard over 1,500 kilometers away. The shockwave was so powerful that it knocked people off their feet shattered windows, and even shook the ground thousands of miles away. Witnesses in nearby villages reported a deafening explosion that shattered windows, knocked people off their feet, and was heard over 1,200 kilometers, 750 miles away. The explosion leveled over 80 million trees across 2,150 square kilometers, 830 square miles. That's the size of a major city. Birds dropped dead mid-flight, reindeer were burned alive, and people as far as Europe reported seeing strange glowing skies for days. But here's the craziest part. There was no impact source. Unlike other meteorite impacts, there was no giant hole in the ground. No remains of a space rock. Nothing. So, what in the world caused this? Section 2. Theories and Wild Explanations over the past century, scientists, historians, and conspiracy theorists have tried to crack the case. And let me tell you, the theories are mind-blowing. The meteor theory. The most accepted explanation is that a meteor or asteroid about 50 to 60 meters wide, 160 to 200 feet, exploded in the atmosphere before hitting the ground. This airburst caused the massive shockwave, explaining why there was no crater, even NASA says that this could happen again at any time. But here's the problem. No one has ever found a single fragment of the meteor. No space rock, no debris. Wouldn't we have at least some remains? The comet hypothesis. Another theory suggests that a frozen comet made of ice and gas entered the atmosphere, heated up and exploded before impact. It is tempting to posit a variant in which there are comet with at least two cores that on entry within the Earth's atmosphere collide with each other. Since comets are mostly ice, everything would have vaporized, leaving no trace. Sounds legit, right? But no other comet explosion in history has ever been this powerful. Why Tunguska? So many unanswered questions. Was it a UFO crash? Hold on, what if it wasn't a natural disaster at all? Some people believe the explosion was a crashed alien spacecraft. Valentina Bykova says, Of course, my favorite theory is the one about a spaceship from another planet. They wanted to visit us and have a picnic here. Then there was an accident and the spacecraft exploded. These Sifi and alien lovers never miss a chance. The shockwave patterns in the forest are oddly symmetrical, almost as if something deliberately exploded mid-air. Plus, 
Years later, a strange metallic object was reportedly found near the site, but it mysteriously vanished before scientists could study it. How crazy is that? This could have been an extraterrestrial ship malfunctioning and blowing up in our atmosphere. Nikola Tesla's secret experiment. Now this one is wild, but hear me out. Nikola Tesla, the genius inventor, was reportedly working on a death ray, or an energy weapon at the time. Nikola Tesla's death ray. Imagine creating a weapon capable of eliminating entire fleets without conventional ammunition. Well, according to rumors Nikola Tesla, a brilliant scientist developed just such a weapon during World War II, Tesla possessed groundbreaking knowledge of electricity and energy, which led people to speculate that he created a secret death ray. He even talked about sending massive energy bursts across the planet. And guess what? Right before the explosion, Tesla tested his wireless energy transmitter in New York. Could he have accidentally triggered a massive energy blast that caused the Tunguska event? Was it Nicholas' fault? Crazy, but not impossible. Section 3. The Aftermath and Lingering Mysteries the first scientific expedition to investigate Tunguska wasn't until 1927, 19 years later. When scientists arrived, they were stunned. Millions of trees were still lying flat, scorched and radiating outward from the blast site. It looked like a giant had stomped through the forest. And here's a chilling fact. If the Tunguska explosion had happened just a few hours later, it would have destroyed St. Petersburg. Petersburg, a city with over two million people. Some strange magnetic anomalies were detected in the soil, and even to this day, some locals claim weird lights and orbs appear near the site. So, what if this happens again? Could a massive space rock, energy weapon, or something else wipe out an entire city in seconds? Section 4. Could it happen again? Here's the scary truth. Yes, it absolutely could. Scientists warn that Earth is hit by meteors all the time, and Tunguska-level events might happen once every 600 years. In 2013, a smaller meteor exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, injuring over 1,500 people. If it had been just a little bigger, it could have been another Tunguska-level disaster. The worst part? We might not see it coming. NASA and other space agencies are working on asteroid detection, but some near-Earth objects could still slip through our defenses. Call to action, a mystery that defies explanation. After exploring the strange and baffling details of the Tunguska explosion, one thing is clear. This event is unlike anything else in recorded history. A massive blast, stronger than the one dropped on Hiroshima, yet with no visible crater. A shockwave that flattened forests for miles, yet left no trace of what caused it. Witnesses who saw a blinding fireball in the sky, but no one who actually saw an impact? It's the kind of mystery that keeps scientists, historians and conspiracy theorists awake at night. So, what really happened on that fateful morning of June 30th, 1908? To sum it up, the scientific explanation points toward a meteor or comet exploding midair. But even though that theory has gaps, why were no fragments ever found? Why did trees remain standing at the epicenter? Could it have been something even more unusual, like antimatter, a mini black hole, or a secret energy experiment gone terribly wrong? And then, of course, there are the more outlandish theories. Some believe it was an alien spacecraft that exploded, either by accident or as a deliberate act. Others claim Nikola Tesla's wireless energy experiments somehow triggered the event from halfway across the world. Could an advanced civilization, either from our past or another planet, have been involved? The truth is, over a century later, we still don't have a definitive answer. Scientists continue to research the event, hoping to unlock its secrets. Expeditions have been sent, computer models have been run, and yet, the mystery remains. What makes the Tunguska explosion so fascinating is that it challenges everything we know about the world. And here's the craziest part. Tunguska might not be a one-time event. Scientists warn that similar airburst explosions could happen again. With our planet constantly bombarded by space debris, who's to say when the next one will strike? The Tunguska event isn't just a mystery, it's a warning. It's a reminder that the universe is unpredictable, that there are forces beyond our control, and that some events may never have a satisfying explanation. So what do you think?
Was it a natural space phenomenon, a government cover-up, or something far more mysterious? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you love diving into unexplained mysteries, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a deep dive into the strangest events in history. Until next time, stay curious, keep questioning, and keep looking beyond the ordinary, because the world is far stranger than we could ever imagine.